this video, we're going to conclude our introduction to working with symmetry in 3D Coat by finishing up in the paint room and employing the services of our good friend Gollum here to help demonstrate some of the unique symmetry tools you can use here in this workspace. Okay, so as we saw before, you can always bring up the symmetry panel by hitting the S key and selecting the appropriate symmetry plane. And we can even turn the visibility of that plane off if we like. Okay, I'll, maybe for this demonstration I'll leave it on. and Let's lock the symmetry plane so we don't accidentally move it somehow. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a blank layer here in the layer panel. I click on this little icon, come over to the paintbrush, select the color we want and uh, the draw mode we prefer, and check our uh, channels, specularity, color, and depth. Okay, when I check these and you see an X, it means it's temporarily disabled these channels from uh, applying any effect on your layer. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of painting here. And you can see it works just as it does in other rooms. So this is probably the typical way you might want to work. But there are times where maybe uh, you turn the visibility off, okay, and you're, and you're working, and maybe then you'll come and you just turn symmetry off temporarily and get to working on one part of your model and realize, ugh, I forgot to turn symmetry on uh, in this area. So it's not to worry, you can always copy that over. Now in the voxel room, you had sim copy. And so you have a couple different tools here in the paint room that are similar uh, in function. The first one is the ability to use a clone stamp, and you may be accustomed to that in Photoshop. Let me go ahead and delete this layer. I'm going to create another uh, blank layer and make sure no symmetry is on. Okay, and uh, I'm going to switch my colors here. I'll turn my opacity down, I don't need it quite that bright. Alright, I can always go in and, and mask out part of this if I like, but uh, nonetheless let's go ahead and use our clone stamp tool. It's saying that I need, uh, if, if I want to use this option, I need to turn the symmetry plane on. And by default, translation will be the chosen option as it's the standard method of using the clone stamp tool. And what it does is it works exactly as the clone stamp tool does in Photoshop by allowing you to use a hotkey to click and pick a part of your texture and then use that as a brush or use that selection as a brush. Now with that said, we're only going to focus on the symmetry option in this video. And you have that option here, symmetrical copy. So let's go ahead and turn our symmetry plane on. Let's turn the visibility on. Okay, and the way this works is a little bit odd. You're basically painting in what you're wanting to copy. So instead of painting on one side that, that has the color or the pattern that you want, you're actually painting on the opposite side that doesn't have it. You're painting in that copy. So I know it sounds a bit crazy, but uh, that's how it works. So as you can see, I'm essentially painting what's on this side over to this side. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way is to use the topological symmetry tool. This one is a bit of an odd creature, but um, it works nonetheless. So 
I could actually turn symmetry off here. I don't even need that right now. Um, I guess this is perhaps better if you don't have a object that's perfectly symmetrical. It will try to guess uh, you know, where, based upon where you pick, you know, where the uh, center point is. So pick a red face pick a blue face and it will try to guess okay, pick a red face pick a blue face and you can see we can get a fairly close approximation here okay now let's go onto our mesh here you can see if we pick here and pick the blue face doesn't really like that so let's try and get closer toward the center pick the red then pick the blue and you can see we get a perfect uh, symmetrical copy here and the options that we have are copy what's under the red uh, over to the blue or vice versa and this other option is flip the layer so basically it's it's just going to swap them you do have an option here in this symmetry, I'm sorry, under the layers uh, menu here in symmetrical transform, you have one unique aspect and that's flip and duplicate, but I find it's it's identical to uh, these two options. Uh, it's going to copy, you know, one or the other. So in this case, uh, let's let's flip the layer. Okay. So that's really what it did. It just swapped one side for the other. So we'll undo that. And we'll copy this red side over to the blue side. Okay. So really, again, these both have their, their benefits because if you wanted to copy the entire side, you would want to probably use this. Okay. There are cases where you don't. Maybe you just want to copy a, a portion of it back okay and if you just use the symmetry panel you're not going to get that option it's not going to really allow you to do that so in that case that's where using the clone stamp tool is perfect to symmetrically copy just a local portion and I do believe that will conclude this look at working with symmetry in 3d code I hope it helps and thank you for watching